Hello, welcome to this video section. In this video today, I'll be showing how to use uh, the DotP website to keep track of all your transactions as a DotP uh, agent. So, uh, the process is very simple. First, you need to go to this website, app.dotp.africa. You can see it here. Paste it on your browser. Here you can see my I'm already logged in. So let me show you on a different browser. This is the site here. If you enter this, you enter your username. This is an uh, email address. The email address you provided during your registration, your POS registration as an agent, or you put your agent ID here. Then you put your password here. Your agent ID is the ID that starts with dots. DOT03 ETC. You put it here and put your POS password. I did not say PIN, I said password. You put your password here and then you click on login. That will take you to this page here. It takes you to the information page. Now, this is not our concern. Our concern here is the transactions, knowing what uh, happened, why you were not there. Probably you have a sales rep working for you, so you just want to keep track wherever you are. So you quickly log in to .pay.africa. You click on, you provide your username and password. You click on transactions to see all the transactions your sales person have done or the ones you've done yourself. You can see all the transactions this agent has done for today. You scroll down. Uh, you can go to next, next, next to see all the transactions done on this account from the one. It is as simple as that. Now, let's say you have a uh, few transaction like this transaction here showed insufficient fund, and the agent said that he or she was debited. Uh, you can log disputes from here. I can't see the dispute option here because I'm using the aggregator section. So usually the dispute option will be here. You log dispute for the transaction. You can do that on your POS also. So you log dispute and wait for a reply. Then here you can see the withdrawal transactions done. This is a withdrawal I should approve. This is a transfer uh, transaction showing successful. Meanwhile, if uh, you see approved, whenever you do a transfer, it means that transaction is pending. There is no cause for alarm. They are still trying to process the transaction. Probably the bank you transferred to was having a network issue and is showing approved. You don't have to worry about that. So uh, you can also use this portal to ascertain if you got a refund for a transaction. If the company say, ah, we refunded you for so so and so transaction, you open this put for an agent instead of sending to the agent's account to use this portal to verify that how do you do it let's we'll use this airtime here as a case study okay there is also a 2000 transfer here that field we'll check that so if this agent did this transaction of uh, airtime purchase and it should field and the agent was debited the wallet was debited how do you know if you got value for this airtime it's simple all you have to do is you check your uh, wallet section you click on wallet here then you come here now let me explain some basic things here before we go to that now we have on our wallet we have the pre balance and then we have the post balance the pre balance is a balance you had before a transaction why the post balance is a balance after that transaction so for this agent he did a withdrawal of 5,000 which is an input he received a credit to him and before he did this transaction of 5,000 uh, 74 naira the agent had 2,838 naira it's cool and after the successful transaction the agent now have 7,912 naira it's cool so that's uh, the pre-balance and the post-balance the orange, the green here is for successful transaction. Why the orange? That's a credit. This orange is a debit. 
credit debit so when you do a transfer all your transfers is an output from your uh, wallet to somebody's account or to your personal account so it's always been orange why your withdrawal from uh, someone's card to your terminal to, to credit your wallet is uh, a credit to you so it's in green that's how it works so now let's uh, quickly scroll down and see further details so look at this this is the airtime transaction we saw earlier it was done you can see the dates and the time here now as at the time the agent did this transaction it was orange because as i explained earlier is a debit to the agent but because the transaction failed the agents got recredited the same amount why is it showing 347 naira there was a charge of uh you saw the seven naira which part was given to this agent already that's why you can see the agent got 347 naira here and you can see uh it's coming back here as a credit to the agent this is the 2000 naira that was done by the agent that also should field and this is that 2000 naira coming back here so first you need to check your transaction to know what you did and then so as to know the exact time to check it on your wallet section and to take note of the transaction id because the transaction id we always remain the same no matter what happens for that particular transaction even if it was refunded three days after this transaction id will remain the same to show you that that transaction came back that's how you identify the transaction so you always check your pre-balance as against your post balance this agent had thirty thousand eight hundred and thirty four naira it's kobo before doing the transaction after doing the transaction he got uh, 828,809 naira, 8 kobo. And at the end of the day, when the refund was made, you can see the balance is now the same. So basically, this is just how you check your transactions to know what is going on in your uh, account as an agent. You can always export this report in pdf or excel format and maybe print it if you need to print it or do whatever you want you can also print a statement of account by going to action statement of account to print your transaction records now under location location here is counting zero location is if this agent has two terminals uh, you see one location here that's one is registered as a normal terminal and then this order will be registered as an additional location because uh, we are not expecting that you have two dot pay terminals in one spot so the new location let's say you order for two dot pay terminal you're using one in uh, location a that will still count as zero here because that's like your principal terminal which is the account we are on while location b will show now count here as one because you have an additional terminal so i believe uh, uh if you really took your time to watch this video you won't have any challenges but in case you have further challenges or question feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and god bless